if it fails then the channel will, will be deleted so this may be my goodbye message i made a video trying to review cortex traders the binary trading options and i say that binary trading option is not really trading as what people think it is it is more like um a simulation there is no trading behind the scene you only try to make an assumption that a trade will go up or a trade will go down. So, whether even if you know mathematics, you know economics, you, you have experience in trading, there is no way that you can beat Cortex traders. Like, because it is not real life trading, it is not based on any external force. It is just a website which is there. You're just trying to run a simulation, a trading simulation, and yet you have to put real money. And I, I warned people about it. And in fact, when you go and check on the internet, the, the MaxBit LL, LLC, which is a company behind the Cortex traders, how they have been changing their name from, from one name to another, all of that is quite available on the internet. And their record is very bad. But yet when you go on YouTube and then you try to look for review videos about Cortex traders, you don't find review videos. What you will find are some of these YouTubers trying to promote you like trading, the binary trading options, best strategy, who, like how to do binary trading options. But you won't find clear review videos about Cortex. And I was curious. So when I began making videos about Cortex, in fact, I learned about Cortex when me myself I tried to do some trading using Lara Traders, who is one of the biggest YouTubers who do the binary trading options. Because in her videos you could see that she is winning every time. She is making thousands of dollars just in 10 minutes. So I got curious and when I tried I lost the money. I tried following up in our private channel. Things were not clear. That's when I began seeing and finding out loopholes. Then there are so many other similar traders that came around, like the Agatha traders, uh, like 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 the baby traders, like like the princess of a prince trading. There are so many of them that do talk about binary trading option. They have similar thumbnail designs. They have similar strategies. In their videos, they show that they're winning each and every time. You have to go onto their private channel. You have to then make sure you sign up for, for Cortex Trading before, before you can be in part of their VIP. Like, they all have similar strategies. And let's say that, what if these people are connected? What if they are working together? What if this is the same gang trying to work together? And a number of my review videos kept on getting copyright strike. Oh, because I've used the logo of Cortex. Oh, because I've taken a screenshot for the, um, for the demo account of Cortex. Oh, because I did uh, a screen recorder using Cortex. Oh, because I used the Lara Trader's name or somebody's photo. I got copyright strike after copyright strike after copyright strike. The videos kept on getting taken down and all that. Now, in this recent incident, I edited a video about Lara traders and I made sure I remove all instances of Cortex trading except one area. <laughs> one area. Because it was the only way I could show the evidence of my reviews. Only one area. And they gave a copyright strike that I was using materials from the Cortex trading demo account to show that video. Then they went on and looked for some of the shots I had made on Cortex traders. They also copyright strike those ones. There were two, two shots about Cortex. About 17 seconds each. And these screen recorders had voiceovers. It was an explanation video. It was an education video which falls under fair use. So this was fair use because the, 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 the screenshot, the screen recorder was being used to offer explanation to the point I was talking about.
Now those are two copyright strike from the YouTube shots and then one copyright strike from the long term video the the, the the long form video about Lara traders. Then yesterday morning I woke up and the phone they have again given another copyright strike on another YouTube shot. But this time around it wasn't because I had used any information or any logo or, or, or any image from Cortex. It was the video that I had recorded, like, like the way I'm recording this one here. That is how the video was. But I used the title Cortex. Because since this video is about Cortex, I must use the name Cortex. So that it can be relevant. It can be, it can be relevant because I cannot use any other name. I cannot say USA. I cannot say Britain. I have to use Cortex Trading because the video is about Cortex Trading. That is how it works. These people give a copyright strike why I have used the name Cortex. <laughs> now those are four copyright strikes. And like, how, how do you give somebody a copyright strike takedown for using the name? Names, it's, it's, it's like me whose name is called Isaac. There is no copyright protection for a name because if anybody was, 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 was to put copyright in their name, in their name, I, I, I don't think whether other people would have no names in this world. Names are not protected under anything, in any way. A name, a name is not. It's not under protected by any copyright law. Names are not. What is protected are things like um, the logo, um, uh, special images, uh, special designs of, of, of some other thing, or maybe some unique colorations, or maybe... And like, even if it is being pro protected, it will only be protected in some instance. For example, uh, if, if I use, if, if the name is Coca-Cola, putting the name Coca-Cola, let's say, in a title or anything, is not a problem. But if I open a company and I call it Coca-Cola, that would be a problem. But if I am, let's say, selling um, fast food or I'm doing agriculture, a different business from soft drinks that Coca-Cola does, then that and again does, will not really fall under that because the business is, is a little bit different. Like, there is no basis that you can give somebody a copyright strike for using the name Cortex. <laughs> so I have four copyright strikes. Now this is what is funny. All the four copyright strike, which was being sent saying it was on behalf of the MaxBit LLC, which is a company behind the Cortex traders, the Gmail account which is being used to send all those uh, copyright requests, take down, are all different. And that bothered me. If the Maxbit LLC, a big company, is trying to do copyright take down, like for me infringing on their corporate law, why couldn't they have this one legal body who is sending these take down requests? Why must different people open Gmail accounts and they use those Gmail accounts to send corporate uh, requests take down from, from, from YouTube? All the four different videos right now, they are different Gmail, Gmail accounts. Now, the, the earlier corporate take down, both for Lara Traders, two corporate strike take down about three months ago and one for about Cortex by the binary trading option. All of them also had different Gmail accounts. I've so far received about seven copyright strikes take down just for any topic related to Cortex. But none of the emails are the same. But this is more like an intimidation or maybe something. Like they want to go far. It's just a way of silencing you. Because they believe that if I give this person copyright strike, now in this case now I have four then my channel has to be deleted. Like, my channel has to be deleted. So I will not be talking about any Cortex trading. And 
Well, those are some of the options that you can work towards removing the copyright strike. I tried them. So number one, the option is to, 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 to wait, to wait for the copyright strike to expire. In the earlier strike, it used to be like one or two per time. So that one I could wait and chill back and then they expire after 90 days. But if you get three copyright strike within a period of 90 days over YouTube, the new channel gets deleted. Right now I have four. I have four copyright strike. So my channel has to be deleted in seven days. As I talk today, this is like day two or something. So meaning I, I, that option of waiting for 90 days doesn't work for me. It's not applicable. The other option is to, to, to request the person who submitted the, the, the copyright removal request to retract their copyright takedown. And that's when I have to contact them. So I, I, I contacted these, these Gmail accounts that were used to send me the copyright strike takedown, each of them. So on all the four strikes, I sent for them a message saying that, you know what, I understand this is not okay. Maybe I infringe on your copyright. Please, can you work out something? Do you want me to do to delete the videos? What should I do? Can you retract and then you work out something? Out of the four emails, only one email managed to read the, the mail. Because because I, 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 I do I do track my email. So I have email tracker. So when somebody has received and has read, I can tell. Only one has managed to read. All the other people, <laughs> they have not opened. My thinking is that these are just random Gmail accounts open just for the purpose of putting this strike and they have abandoned it. Nobody's following them up. So there is no feedback I'm going to get from them because they're not even reading the emails. Because this is not even their official emails, email, email addresses. So that option again will not work for me. Now the other option is to, to file a counter copyright notification, which means that I did infringe on their rights. I am either being protected by fair use or another law. That's why I should be able to use the material from Cortex. But if so, if I file the notification, then it has to be taken to the claimant. It has to be taken to the Cortex people. Then the Cortex people have 10 days to say that, you know what? We are going to take this person to court for using the name Cortex, for using the images, for using anything related to Cortex, we shall take him to court. Now, they have the right to YouTube. So, when YouTube receives that, then we proceed to court. And then you go and back to this debate of what is fair use. You have, you have uh, in, in, in infringed on my copyright. You have to pay me money. You have to pay me fine. And so, we have to battle this. But if they don't reply within 10 days, then YouTube will automatically remove the copyright uh, request take down. Now, that is the state I am in. I filed the, the copyright counter notification. YouTube has only accepted one, says the other three are some errors. I'm trying to update on them and send. But if it fails, then the channel will be deleted. So this may be my goodbye message. If it happens to pass through and, and the messages, notifications are transferred to the Cortex people, if the Cortex people then decide to take me to court, I don't have resources, so I don't know how that will end. So uh, we will see. We will see what happens. But based on the fact that they are not even reading their emails and erased, I doubt whether these people are, not, are really looking into going, going to court. My thinking, uh, my thinking is that they already know that they are partially not on a good side. This is this all falls within fair use. So uh, I don't really see a very clear direction where they can take. But 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 you never know. So that is my current situation. In um, I don't know where it will end. I've been silent for about one month, right month now. I've been going through a lot. I have school ongoing. I have work ongoing. And there are so many other things that I'm doing right now. So uh, I haven't been able to put videos most of the time. But 
this issue made me to sort of maybe tell you people goodbye uh, just in case this is this is the last video so in case we don't go anywhere here we shall meet anytime in case um the channel gets deleted goodbye maybe maybe i'll use a similar name maybe the informer 2 or something or maybe i'll abandon youtube forever i have no idea but uh yeah see you anytime see you